Okay, just here we're going to um, we're going to start to talk about uh, another really important uh, issue for you, uh, which is going to be that of ear training, training your ears uh, to hear the kind of sounds and intervals uh, which are going to be necessary for you, uh, especially if you want to become um, an improviser. Um, ear training is quite a big thing on its own. It, it, it's something which can be done um, the majority of times with the saxophone put away. Uh, but you, you, you can work with the saxophone at the same time. Um, but um, first and foremost, I would urge you to go and check out uh, some of the great publications, especially some of the, some of the Jamie Abersold stuff which is out there concerning ear training. Okay? You, you, you would want to go and pick hold of some of that stuff and have a good read through and really get under the skin of this. Basically, we, we, we want to talk about um, the, the word interval the gaps between the notes, all right? And everything that, that, that happens musically, be it a scale, be it a melody, um, uh, be it an improvisation, each note has got a gap between itself and the next note, and a gap between that note and the next note, and that note and the next note. And every one of those would be an interval, okay? There are certain ones that we would want to um, be fairly familiar with hearing. And of course, if these intervals don't uh, happen in the right order, we can hear that there's a that there's a problem. So by now you're you're kind of beginning to practice your scales. You're you're beginning to hear uh, what a major scale should sound like. So here we go, G G major. <laughs> should be C, but was in fact in that instance C sharp, that the interval was now changed. Okay, That interval changing completely changes the face of this scale. To us, we want to hear a major scale, at that particular moment it's then wrong, and we can identify it's wrong because the interval is wrong. Okay, So every tune that you will play, exactly the same as a scale, has got its own interval makeup. And, it, and it's going to be very important that you're able to identify these things. The last thing that it's going to do for you is that it, it, it's going to be really important that you start to learn tunes um, just from memory, picking stuff up, playing along with the with the radio, playing along with with uh, the great players on their on their on their records that they've produced, um, anything like that, to try and copy, to listen and copy what's going on there. Okay. Uh, by this angle, your ears are already starting to hear intervals, are already starting to be trained. We need to just enhance this. So the whole deal with ear training is going to be quite important for you, especially ultimately if you want to start copying solos from the, from the great players, you want to start noting down licks which you hear players playing, and add them into your vocabulary. Okay, so that's where the ear training is really going to pay for itself here. But I can't stress enough how um, important it is for you uh, to really get in there and use some of the publications which are out there. They are fantastic. And to go out and listen as much as you can, spend as much of your free time as you can listening to saxophonists, to great players, and the way that they produce sound, the way that they play certain phrases, and you will by default start hearing the gaps between the notes. Okay. Also, with your, with your scale practice, it will it will happen as well. So the more you can do this, the better that your understanding and the better that your ear training will actually come on. 